Well, hello. Here we are with director Tom Logan coming in from L.A. And um, Tom, thank you so much for coming down oh, to Monterey with us. Oh, it's great to be here. I've had a fantastic time. Oh, well, well, thank you so much. I have a question for you. You know, and I'm sure this will clear out lots of doubts from out there from dads, moms that are unsure about how to go about in the town, you know, in the industry. How, how, what is the best way for a new talent to step foot in Hollywood? Well, it's a real difficult process because agents get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures a week. Mm -hmm. They might take on a few clients a year. It's okay. very difficult to get in to see these people. So the key thing to work in Hollywood is to get in to see an agent. That, that's the key thing. Right. It's very difficult to do. One of the best ways, easiest ways, quickest ways, and the way to meet the most people and to maximize the amount of time is through some of the talent showcases that they have, where okay. they have hundreds of agents come in and the actors perform in front of them. Because in a lifetime, let's take talent showcase, you would never be able to meet that many agents in a lifetime that you could meet at one of these talent wow. showcases in four or five days. We're talking a lot of years, a lifetime. Oh, <laughs> you, could spend, you could spend years and years and years trying, you know, trying to get in to see an agent. Uh, way back when I was an actor, I'd been on, you know, done Broadway shows and all that kind of thing. And I moved to L.A. and it took me, we didn't have conventions back then, talent conventions. And it took me four to five years to get in to see my first wow. agent. While living in L.A.? While and living in you L.A. You already an L.A. actor. And, and I had been and working Broadway shows, uh -huh. I mean, and many, many stage credits and thing, TV behind me. I go to L.A. and it was four or five years. Wow. These people who go to some of these talent showcases That's walk a lot out. Of door knocking. Oh, it's a lot of door knocking. And some of the, these people that go to talent showcases four days later, they're walking out with five agents that want to see them. Not only that, but if they end up moving to LA, they already have contacts. Mm -hmm. What a better way to have contacts than to meet these people in advance before you right, go? Right. Because if you just go there and you know nobody, you know nobody to talk to, you're just like fish out of water. Right, and right. so I really high, highly recommend these talent showcases where you can meet all of these agents. Wow. Now explain to us why is it important to meet an agent or to have a rep in LA okay. or in Hollywood? Well first of all, we don't just put ads in the paper. If, if you see one of the paper, the LA, you know, some LA paper that says come down and audition, this is not what we do in the real world. Okay, so okay. I'd be real careful with that. An agent also makes sure that when you go out on things, they're legit things. They're not things that are rip-offs or whatever. You also look much more professional when you have an agent. It would be like going into court and not having an attorney. Mm -hmm. You know, you just don't look like you have someone who are representing you. And so it's extremely important. In fact, people in L.A. that tell me they don't have agents are telling me one of two things. A, they can't get one. Or B, they're too naive to know they need one. Oh, wow. So it's one of those two things because... Even major, major stars, your top stars, have agents. Right. And of all people, you would think, well, they probably don't need an agent to get them work. Oh, oh, but they do. And it's not just getting them into work. It's negotiating the contracts, making sure they get the best deal, making sure if this TV pilot becomes a series, what kind of money they're going to make. There's all kind of legal things besides just getting them into auditions. Right, right. Now, I've heard many parents say, well, if my child is good enough, mm -hmm. they'll have to pay for my child to go there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So in other words, if I wanted to go to med school, if I'm really, I really know a lot about medicine, I shouldn't have to pay to go there. I, I should, they should just give them to me. Oh, I see. That's it, kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to go into real estate, but I'm not going to go into a real estate course because if I'm that good, they should just give me a real estate license. Right. Yeah. So in other words, the, the arguments uh, then hold. Right, it just it just doesn't work that way. No, so, no. you know, if 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 you really want to step in the industry, you have to go and knock on doors, and the best way to do it is through a talent showcase. There's one very important thing that um, that a very important person to me told me once, and he lived in LA, and he mitigated in LA. He's a lawyer. Right. He said, uh, you know, talent showcases are a safe place, I and mean, he's heard all these stories about talent coming into LA and knocking doors and then just fall into the wrong hands. Yes. And you know, end up in, in this end up doing things against their will mm -hmm. and against their honor and pride and just, you know let's cut it short. You know, many of them end up in, in prostitution. You know, I, I know it's a strong it's a strong it's a strong uh, comment. 
but it's true. Yes, it's and true. if you go the legitimate route, show business is no better, in LA is no better place to be, I agree, right. for a child, because we have school teachers on sets, they have the best school teachers, there's only two or three people in a class. It's totally regulated, we have to have the social workers on the set per kid, we have to have all kinds of safeguards, so they're much better off there than they are in the right, public right. school by a long shot. The other thing is, these managers and agents that you meet at a talent convention are, are pre-checked out. Right. I mean, these are not just people that say, oh, I'm an agent, I want to come to this convention. No, these are agents that have been going to these conventions for years. The people who hold these conventions know these agents. Totally different ball game than just going to L.A. and you don't know if this agent's good or bad or whatever, right, or right. reputable. But at a talent showcase, they have a reputation to uphold. And so they're very careful which right. agents they bring in. So it's a great place to, to get into the industry in a safe way. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, Tom, thank you so much for oh, being here with us. Thank you so thank much, so much yeah, for this insight. It. You know, what better, what better way to get the facts from the industry, from someone who is in the industry, you know, working, living off the industry, and, you know. Well, I have to be real careful because I have four best-selling books on in the industry about how to get into the industry. Right. So I'm real careful where I go. If I come to you and do a workshop down here, or I promote something, I'm real careful what I promote. So oh, I'm sure. thrilled to be here. Sure. Well, thank you, Tom, so much. And thank, thank you for you. your time. Folks, this is Tom Logan, director from LA, visiting us here in Monterey, <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Not California. Not California. We're here in Mexico. Adios. Gracias. Gracias.